points in the playoff crowd. It's real. It feels good. You know, if I uh, if I didn't get a finish, I wasn't guaranteed a playoff spot. And if you don't make playoffs, you don't make get paid. I'm here to get paid. I'm here to fight good guys. Yeah. Nothing like a, a eye poke and a groin shot to get you off the win. Uh, how how, how infuriated did it make you to, to come at him like that? Um, the nut shot wasn't too bad. It like skimmed off. It hurt. Like it, I definitely felt it. The eye poke was pretty bad. Um, I don't know. It seems like I get poked in the eye a lot. It does piss me off, but you know I'm not mad at him. Just kind of the situation. I wish guys would close their hands, but whenever you're backing up, those fingers end up coming out. It happens. Like, I'm not going to say nothing bad about him. He talked to him, you know, we just kind of wait in the same sauna. He's a cool guy. I just, I, he doesn't speak English, I don't speak Portuguese, but he seemed cool. <laughs> How's your vision? You said it was blurry when you've been close fighting the cage. It's getting better. It's, it's, I think it'll be fine. I'm going to get it checked out. Uh, I think one of my sponsors is an ophthalmologist, Northwest Eye Clinic. So, go and check them out. See what's what. How do you feel coming off of the last fight? You know, knockout loss so early and then coming back and basically upsetting one of the tough guys in the division. Yeah, uh, I guess it was an upset. You know, in my mind, I was a favorite. Like, I think I'm going to win every fight. I flipped on the odds. I was a plus 400. I was like, well, someone doesn't know what you're talking about. But it's good. Um, he is good. He's a very good fighter. He's uh, he's well rounded. He's good on the feet. He's good on the ground. And he. He's able to win decisions. So he can get finishes, he can win decisions. I knew he's a tough guy, I knew I had another tough draw, but uh, at that same time, I knew I needed a first and second round finish to ensure the playoffs, and I know the way that I fight, I was gonna get it. So mentally, you were 100% focused? Yeah, um, like, someone someone was asking me, like, oh, did you have a like, you know, oh, man, you got finished quick, like, kind of have some doubts, and honestly, Five minutes after my last fight, um, I was like, man, I need to fight Sabu again. I'll, I'll beat that guy, you know? Like, there was nothing that happened in the fight that would give anyone who watched it any any inkling that I would beat him. But I know if I fight him again, I'll beat him. So my my confidence is never a problem. I, I know my skill level. I know how hard I work. I know the guys I train with. I know my team. And I know that... I'm right there with anyone in the world. So, uh, at the least, I'll win a decision. Speaking of this, Blue, obviously you just had that number one uh, spot solidified uh, with Rossi uh, yeah. and you and Sandoval tied at six each for their for the second spot. How do you, what do you think of competition on that? Well, I mean, he's he's got the the higher seed. You know, he's got head to head, and he's got the fastest knockout. So, but if it ends up last. I think the last season he ended up like four, number four and number five, and that was the fight. So if that's the fight, that's the fight. You know, I'm fighting in October. If that's what happens, that's what happens. But right now, just watch these fights and we'll see who I got. Early in the first round, he hit you with a kick out, very reminiscent of the one side of the Did that phase him at all? Do you want to think back to that last fight? No, uh, my liver's healed up. You know, I feel good. Uh, I, I've never been dropped by a body kick like that before. I've been hurt to the liver with knees, but I've never been dropped by a body kick like that. So, you know, I wasn't like coming in. I wasn't worried about it. I was like, well, maybe someone will, maybe he'll try to fire that off. But watching his fights, we saw that he likes to switch that stance and throw that rear. He always go southpaw, throw that rear leg, and he just fires it. He doesn't set it up too much. He just gets out of stance, fires that rear kick hard. Or he ducks, sets that kick up, fires the hard. So we was we was caught. we like, it was on our mind, but. It is what it is, you know. If I get hit with it, I get hit with it. I'm not going to go down. Well, I guess I can say that. I didn't go down before, so if it happens, it happens. And I was ready for it. Do you think the, uh, you yeah, mentioned too that you only had like two weeks to prepare for this fight. Do you think that, that the, uh, the rest that you had helped you do better tonight than the first time? No. Like I was saying in the cage, uh, I felt like my last fight I had the best camp I've ever had. I felt like I was the best I've ever been. In this fight, I was hurt, didn't really get a too long of a camp. You know, I didn't start till late, and then I got hurt in like two and a half weeks of camp. So then I was just kind of managing my back injury. But yeah, I mean, that's the game we play. Like, life doesn't always take a straight line, straight path, you know? I didn't have the best camp, but I had a great fight. Got a good finish, being a good guy who is like thought highly seated, highly thought of, and 
now I'm in the playoffs, and we'll see what happens. Speaking of the playoffs, does the format change anything moving forward now? You know that first fight's only going to be a couple of rounds, so you've, you've got to get in there and get it done? Yeah, you know, first fight's two rounds. Um, some people think, oh, i got to save it for the save it for the second fight. Well, if you don't win that first fight, you don't fight again. So we'll see. Might have to throw in some more wrestling. Um, you know, or maybe just take someone down that first round, lay on top of them, get that first round in a 10-9 in my favor, and then I can fight the second round. So we'll, we'll see what happens. It seems like the standings and the points changes and like their style. Do you prefer fighting under this format? Um, yeah, I love it. You know, you're you're rewarded for your aggression. You're rewarded for going out and getting after it. Like, you don't want to just be the guy who goes out there and gets a takedown and just humps someone. Like, right? I mean, I don't know. Some people want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. That's not how I lived my life. When I wrestled, you know, I always went for finish. Um, when I played football, like it was always something big. I always go for something big. So every sport I've done, I'm always trying to be excited. Right? And maybe, I don't know, maybe I just got bad cardio, so I want to get it over with. Who knows? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.